Cooking with flow, bitches. I'm back. Let's get cooking. Okay, I have you balanced on some avocados. How are you all doing? First of all, I'm sorry it's taken me so long. Life. Um, uh, second of all, I'm so happy to be back. Thirdly, I hope you've all been cooking. If you haven't been, I'm hoping that I can do some inspiring and get you cooking some yummy food this weekend. What I'm gonna make today is, um, that's very loud. Um, what I'm gonna make is courgette. I love courgette. Do you like courgette? I was gonna make some myself with this very, very large essential, like, it's a pencil sharpener, basically. Perfect. Okay, so quickly, just to summarize, I'm gonna do like a spicy, fresh, vegetable-y, tomato-y sauce with chili, lemon, peppers, cherry tomatoes, maybe a few mushrooms, a few mushies. Um, and then I'm gonna make my own courgette. I also bought some really lovely prawns the other day So if we have enough time and I'm not boring you all then I might do some lovely garlic prawns and put them in there as well because Fuck yes to garlic prawns um, I'm gonna wash my hands and then let's go Okay I'm gonna chop some garlic And sip some wine. I know I have a lot of ice in my wine, but shh Okay, that was more of a gulp, sorry. Um, how's everyone been doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. 2022, I hope it's gonna be a good big year. I feel it. I feel it in the energy, in the atmosphere. Um, first of all, I'm gonna get a really nice tomato-y thing going. So basically, these are some lovely bashed up uh, tomatoes. They've got some nice wrinkles on there. Do not chuck them away, put them in a sauce. And if they have a bit of like banged up mold, whatever, just slice it off, pretend it's not there. Um, things like stews and sauces are great for your banged up vegetables because you don't need any of that fresh crunch. So I need to stop filming now because it's gonna run out. I'm a fan of crushing garlic recently. Like it's really satisfying, first of all. And then second of all, you get these really nice, like, squidged bits of garlic. Mm. I love garlic. Chop it up or crush them up. Um, and then chop up your tomatoes, your old banged up ones. I will be using a tin of tomatoes as well, just because I have it in the cupboard and I need to use it. Um, and then when you're at that stage, hold fire. Yeah, you can tell I really like garlic. <laughs> if I could and it wouldn't sting, I'd have a bath of garlic. I think it would really hurt all the nooks and crannies and all of your cuts, maybe. Uh... Okay, I have popped the garlic in the pan. I'm gonna put the pop, 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 pop and put the tomatoes in the pan too. I had some uh, nice but not totally salad fresh um, yellow cherry tomatoes, so I'm gonna bung them in as well. Oh, hair's falling out. Um, I'm gonna get that going. And then I'll uh, do this dangerous fucking thing. Okay, the pan's a bit. Hang on, not pan, it's a chopping board. It's a bit precarious because it's so bloody large. But hang on. Ooh, that splattered the screen. Oh my God, it smells amazing. Okay, so that's 
That's not actually on that high of flame. Actually, no, fuck it, it is. Turn it down a little bit. Grab yourself a spatula and give it a little stir. That actually smells insane already. It's the garlic. All right, that's bubbling nicely, like a low bubble. I like chili. I also like my vegetable sauces to be quite fresh. So I'm just gonna chop up some of this. And then I'm also gonna wait to put the lemon in. But I really like chili. If you like chili, then go crazy. And then I'm gonna do my onions. If any of you have these ingredients in your house and you're following along, I like that. Maybe I should do that in the future. Like, post the vegetables and the ingredients and then get you guys to cook along. I'd make it easy, I promise. I'd make it like you could cook it in the microwave or something. I love this song. I was going to put a bit of this fine, spicy salami in the oh, chopped onions. No, oh no. Don't breathe through your nose when you chop onions. I just completely felt that. I was supposed to put this in at the beginning, but it's actually okay because I'm gonna bung them both in a pan now together and soften it, and then I can pop it back into the sauce later. All's good, all's groovy. That's the best thing about like one pot cooking. Sometimes you have to use two pots. Sometimes you fuck up and then you just have to fix it and it's all good and it's all easy. So I'm going to do these really nice and thin because I want them to be found amongst the courgette. So they'll be like this. Equally, if you don't want to... Mm. That's looking lovely. That's looking lovely. I'm going to add in some yellow peppers. Well, one yellow pepper, because I fancy some more yellow in there. And then I'm gonna jump on the zucchini courgette business. Sorry, I keep on lying. We will get to it at some point. Okay, I haven't used, yes, you did just hear a song say Florence. I just found that too. I haven't used this one before, so we're, but we're all gonna have a go at the same time. These things are really fun, but they're fucking dangerous. I've lost a few knuckles. They're essentially a, a ginormous sharpener that you put vegetables in instead of pencils, and you basically peel this thing until it's gone. So the possibility of... <gasps> working but for real the possibility of like getting your knuckles in there is a thing that has happened to me i think to my dad once that looks fun i never explained what this is in case you don't know what it is so courgette is um it's instead of spaghetti if you don't fancy spaghetti you can have courgette and basically you ba you you peel the courgettes in such a way that it's like spaghetti. Now the difference between courgette and spaghetti is obviously that one's made of vegetables and the other one isn't. Other than that, um, you don't boil this. You actually make your sauce first, as is over here, cooking away, and make sure that the sauce is nice and liquidy, and you basically make this into this shape, and then when the sauce is completed, you put this in to the sauce raw, and the hot sauce. All right, so I didn't cut myself. I just needed to focus actually for a second. It worked. I've noticed that you can't use too big a courgette zucchini because it gets stuck. <laughs> um, and you can't chop it in half like I tried because it doesn't work. Uh, it only does half of it. So then you get pieces like... Oh, 
it was so long ago. Get pieces like that. You don't want that. You want this. This is a depressing song. Guys, I don't know if you fancy it or not. Do you want prawn? Or do you just want like a really nice courgette with some um, nice, sexy, spicy, sharpy kind of sauce? I can do the prawns. They're pretty easy. Should I do the prawns? I'll do the prawns. I'll do the prawns. Okay, I need to do this bit really fast because I don't have that many uh, Instagram stories left. Now, I know a lot of you are saying, hey Florence, why don't you do Instagram Live? I don't do Instagram Live. I don't do Instagram Live because A, I don't know how to do it. B, I'm shit when I do it. And C, I just feel like there's so much space and I feel like this is way more chaotic in a very entertaining way. And so, yes. Um, peel your garlic. I'm gonna use butter in with the prawns um, it's gonna be pretty simple actually I'm gonna keep the shells on because they have an amazing flavor um, if you don't want to keep the shells on just take them off but I like the shells on mm. do you want to see something truly sexy oh that's butter and garlic, guys. That's the sauce, guys. Yes, you can imagine the smell. Smell amazing! Mm. I am going to... Oh, I am going to squeeze a little bit of lemon in there and then I'm going to chop up some coriander and top that on the top. I think that's good. I don't want to make them spicy because the sauce that I've made is actually quite spicy. I think in a second I'm ready to put the courgette in the sauce. Um, I'm really excited to eat this because I'm bloody hungry. I'm hungers. And then we just stir it in. Mm. Yes! See that? And then you're just stirring it in. Okay? Hang on, I need to do this again. Something new, and I know you felt it too.